Good morning, you've got scruffy head if I was starting the vlog today. It's about 10 past 10. I'm just making my second hot drink of the morning. I've been up since about quarter to nine. Well, now today, it's a supposed interview for the scholarship. So we're very excited. She's not nervous at all. She says she has every confidence that she can pull it off. So she's just looking forward to it. She's excited. Um, so of course we're just like we're wondering how many people have applied what's the competition like we have absolutely no clue how many people she's competing with at this shortlisted stage and we also don't know if there's a further shortlisting thing or stages afterwards we just don't know it's all a bit of a new thing for us I am feeling very pleased with myself after going shopping yesterday for Isabel's birthday presents and I've got some, maybe possibly all, I'm not sure, but Easter things, but not great big ones that are gonna be cumbersome in the baggage, this is what I'm thinking. I haven't got any euros yet, so the time is getting, you know, it's ticking on. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm gonna get them locally. I might need to put an order in quite a long way in advance, I don't know. <laughs> uh, so I think probably I should maybe possibly do that today. Um, but I've got a gig later, but I don't have to leave till I don't know, afternoon, maybe early evening, not quite sure. But I'm not even dressed yet, as you can see, and I still haven't got my vlog up, so I need to go back and do another stint at work on that. Half past 12, her interview is. It was gonna be half one, but they've moved it. So I'm like, I'm having tech panics now. First of all, I thought it was gonna be on Zoom, so I was like panic-strickenly putting Zoom onto my new MacBook, because I was thinking, well, let's just use the most advanced tech in the whole house, because that might be some kind of fail-safe measure. But it's not Zoom, she's got to click on a link in her email, so she said, well, why don't I just log into my Gmail on your laptop, and then I'll just click on the link from there. So I'm like, okay, okay, we'll do that. But I'm like, I'm panicking, I want to get it all set up way in advance, just in case she can't log into her Gmail or something. Oh, I'm terrible with these things. <sighs> you see, what she's got to do is prepare a 10-minute vocal presentation, a monologue. She's been given a topic to speak on. And I don't know what most people do, but she has not written a script. She has not like written it. She's made a series of bullet points and practiced talking about it ad living. And that's what she's gonna do. I think that's probably the best way. She says, well, I can't write it and just read it. That would be wooden. And I'm inclined to agree. So there we are. She's going to rely on her powers of spontaneity. <laughs> Okay, it's seven minutes before her interview starts. I think she's starting to feel a little bit of nerves. I'm getting loads of nerves and I'm not even doing it. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stay up here in my room because she finds it easier to assert herself if I'm not around. It's like, I think it's like a parent-child sort of role conflict thing. If the offspring, even if they're older, like have gotta be assertive and you know, adult-like. I think they find it harder to do it when their mum's there. So I'm just going to completely live to it. I haven't heard her speech. I know the theme. And that is it. <laughs> she's talked a bit about the content, but she's certainly not practised it on me or anything like that. I've been getting in such a nervous state. I've been checking the laptop downstairs. I was like, oh, I guess I've been trying to charge it up because it hadn't been used for ages. And then I saw the charging plug had actually been pulled out. I was like, oh no, what if the power's going to go? But it's not, it's fine. Um, I've been on, I've been having panics about the webcam not working and the audio not working and the mic not working, but I've gone into the settings and it's all it's all on so it should be okay it was fun the last time we used it oh dear well yeah i'm gonna get on i'm gonna try and focus on my admin tasks my musician related ones but i have i don't have many i've got to send a couple of emails basically but i feel like i should do it afterwards because i'm so preoccupied uh but anyway no i'm gonna go and do it because they're very very simple ones i'll i'll talk to you in a bit <laughs> It's half past 12, it's time! She's sitting there at the laptop. Oh. <laughs> so I'm banished now, I'm up here for 30 minutes. She hasn't started talking yet. <sighs> if they're like overrunning with the one before and she doesn't talk for ages, I'm just gonna be like beside myself with knots in the stomach. <laughs> oh dear, what's my head? Oh, I haven't brushed it. Oh, cause I suddenly, I, was, I got out of the bath and I dried my hair and I was about to brush it and I thought, what if the mic's not working? So that's when I went down and checked it. So, well, I'm going to brush my hair now then while I'm waiting for it to start. Oh, I'm a bag of nerves. So the torture continues. Okay, so she was poised at the laptop, ready. Clicked the link, nothing was happening, nothing was happening. 10 minutes later, she came up the stairs. And I was like, what's happening? And she's like, mummy, <laughs> it's at 1.30. 
so it was 12.30 and when she read it closely it was 12.30 UTC. I'm just reading that off the screen because we literally had to Google what that was. It is Universal Time Coordinated, <laughs> which means same thing as Greenwich Mean Time apparently. Uh, yeah, so it's in an hour. <laughs> well, closer to three quarters of an hour now. Anyway, I've been getting on with my jobs, ticking things off the list. Okay, we're back. It's just coming up to half one. I'm having lunch at my desk today because I've shut the front room door and left her to it. She's due to start in oh, a couple of minutes. Oh my goodness, here we go again. She's absolutely fine. She had an hour to just read over her notes again and just chill out and just go through her phone and stuff. And she's just, she's so chilled out. <laughs> it's fine. I normally watch a vlog when I'm eating if I'm on my own, but I'm a bit worried about eating up the bandwidth for the video call, so I'm not going to. I might read a bit of my book instead. Oh, and the pre-gig lateral flow was negative. Hooray. Okay, she started. We had a hiccup. Oh, the mic wasn't working on my laptop. And she had to run up and say, Man, the mic's not working. I was like, right, use my MacBook. So she signed back in and she was so calm. She was on it. She didn't flap, she didn't panic. So she's just started now. And there were two ladies on the screen and my head went in. I was like, I was like this. We're trying to sort all the laptop out. And my eyes went up and I saw them all looking at me on the screen. I was like, oh, oh, sorry. <laughs> like, oh no. Anyway, she started now, it's going okay. I don't know why that didn't work. I did a thing, it said it was on. Anyway, it's on now. It's working, it's fine. Tech. <gasps> Hopefully having a technically inept buffoon for a mother won't go against her in her interview. I haven't got much of an appetite. It's done. It's done. She's been in here. We've been having a long, long chat about all the details, everything they asked, how it all went, what did she respond. And I won't go into details because, you know, it's her business. But yeah, she feels it went as well as it could. And so we're just waiting to hear now. They said they would be in touch very, very soon. And they were smiling, apparently, while they were saying that. So <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, it's so exciting. I need to go and get some euros. Anyway, <laughs> on a completely different note, I'm going to go out locally on foot and see if I can get some. Oh, I evidently didn't pick the best time to leave the house. <laughs> this is hailing. Well, I didn't manage to get any euros, but I did get some gift wrap for my daughter's birthday presents and a birthday card for her. Her birthday is actually after we get back from holiday, but only just. So what I want to do is have everything prepared before we leave so we can just slot back home and boom, there's a birthday. That's her sneezing in the background. I don't know if the mic picked that up. Anyway, I'm gonna turn the camera off, go do a big warm up on my flute in the cellar ready for my gig tonight. I've just cooked a very early lunch. It's only quarter to five, but I'm going at six. So this I've never ever cooked in my life. It is this. So we'll see what that's like. I fried some mushrooms. I don't know if Isabel will want any mushrooms. Cheesy mash and a medley of broccoli, sprouts and green beans. And I'm about to serve that up. Izzy's just said, I don't think I've ever seen anything less bacony looking. So here's mine with gravy. She's not having gravy, she's having ketchup. I'm due to leave in about half an hour. For some reason, when it's about half an hour before I've got to leave for an evening gig, I come over all tired, like really tired, like could shut my eyes and go to sleep tired. It just seems to be a thing. So I'm trying to just be a bit more restful for a bit before I go. It's time to spring into action, she said lethargically. <laughs> I forgot to do something. It doesn't matter. What I forgot to do was charge my transmitter receiver thingy, but it's fine, I'll just use a lead. I've just packed a can of pop and some squash because it could be a long evening. I'm putting some snacks in. My flute, of course, flute cleaner. Hopefully these fit in, a little caramel for good measure. Even though I've just eaten twice my body weight in mashed potato and corn stuff. We're on our way to the gig and it's Cardiff tonight. Just coming through Cardiff now. Ooh, that roof's a bit wrecked. Maybe they had a fire. Here comes the rain again. The flags are a flap in the wind on the castle there. We're just coming into town, so not far to 
go now. I'm getting in early now with a shot of the room before anyone's in it because I missed my chance at the last gig. I have to go to reception to give our registration details. So I'll do that now and then they're going to set up. Well, we're all set up. We've sound checked. People have come into the room. They're actually sitting down to eat first. So we're going to probably play... Oh, yeah, we've got some water to drink. Um, we're going to play some background music, I think, aren't we, while they eat, and then we'll have Kaylee. We don't play background music. We play foreground music. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> We've done our background music, they're up on the floor ready to dance. The men with their masks to the stage, ladies face the men. Many wearing man. masks. This is the first Katie, I think, where people have been mostly wearing masks. Look, we got, we got, re oh, he's blurred, hang on. I'm blurred. Oh, yes, get you focused. He's still blurred, oh my God. He's moving. <laughs> got a re-song guitar. I'm going to you into groups of four couples. <laughs> have you got a partner? <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we've got a very enthusiastic, a very energetic crowd tonight. We've just done one dance, and oh, blimey, they're well up for it. They're in a huge, huge circle at the moment, taking up the whole room. We need another couple. <laughs> oh, not again. <laughs> I see this being a theme of the evening. The gentleman in the blue shirt. Would you like to come up here, sir, with your partner? Because you'll need up here back to the food. I've table. been bought a pint of beer. Bayside by brains, actually. And if you just hold your partner's hand, yeah, the organiser. You've got that. Fine. If you've got your back to the band, you are couple number one. On their right, time has elapsed. We're on the what was it? The post, the pre. Pre post penultimate. Yeah, that what he said. <laughs> we got two left. In other words, sheep and a donkey would do. Sheep and a donkey. What instead of a couple? Yeah. Yeah, that'll do. We're not fussy. We're all done. Finished. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it was a brilliant night. Time to pack away all the stuff. I haven't finished my beer yet. I timed that. I thought we were finishing a bit later, to be honest. I have to swig it. I had to go back on my lead today because I forgot to charge my thingy and you know, all that excitement of the interview. We're leaving. We're packed up. That's where we were playing. That's the back entrance there. There's music playing from some club or another by there. So it was a really good night tonight. All the people that we were playing for and that were doing the Kaylee were from different parts of America tonight. They're visiting a big group, experiencing the UK and Wales, etc. Yeah, it went down really well. Time to get in the car. Oh, I think that's all blurry. Sorry, it's this camera. We are leaving. We're trying to squeeze out <laughs> a slightly awkward angle. <laughs> that's Westgate Street there. In case you're wondering, lovely building, isn't it? Yes. They're apartments, actually. Oh, didn't see him. It's not very well lit. It's a scooter. Yeah. Deliveroo. His backlight. Oh, good. Ah, oh, good. You will arrive at your destination at 10:58 p.m. We're driving past Cardiff Castle. It's all illuminated and lovely. Home. Izzy's hung the laundry out for me, that's nice. I'm going straight for the combi boiler because I am frozen. It's not that warm in here, I'm going to put the heating on. That was such a nice crowd tonight. I think I told you that already in the car park, but they really were. They were so into it. I love it when we do Kayleys for groups that are visiting the country and everything's new and novel and exciting because they've just got a, a group excitement about them and they're soaking everything up. You know, people that live here all the time aren't just like, you know, taking everything in in a really intense way where these guys were. And we, we do quite often do Kayleys for visiting groups. So anyway, it was one of those and they were just so nice. Anyway, I'm repeating myself now. It's really late. It's, uh, it's gone 11. I'm tired now. I'm gonna go to bed soon. Thank you so much for watching. Could you please give it a like if you liked it? Comment down below, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!